let's talk about age discrepancy. Now, when does it get creepy? I think the phones could have the potential of exploding here. About age differences between couples, between boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, age differences. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is Dane Cook, you know, Dane Cook, the comedian. And what, he, what movies has he been in? He, he was in, wasn't he in Waiting? He's been in a, a number of movies. He's a comic. He, he, yeah. he was a stadium comic for yeah. a while. He was a top tier comic. Yeah. And he kind of fell off the face. Did he of kind the of air. fizzle out a little bit? Yeah, I really well, can't he think didn't... of anything he's done lately. Well, guess what? Dane Cook at 50 didn't fizzle out with his 23 year old fiance. Now, is that, Roxanne, is that creepy? No. 50, I... 50 year okay. old guy, well, 23 year old, very attractive fiance. Okay, so you're talking 27 year age difference. It is a exactly 27 yes. year gap in their ages. Dane Cook is 50. Kelsey Taylor, his fiance, is 23. Okay, so I have a friend, and both of them are my friends, guy and a girl. He is going to be 73. What? And I... she is. Early forties, forty one ish. Yeah, that that's more, even more than this couple. So that's right? that's thirty years, thirty plus years. Wow. All right, let's go to phones on this. I'll I'll, I'll let you finish with your story in okay. a second. Let me let me just get Andrew busy here on screening calls. So Dane Cook is fifty. His fiance that he's going to marry is twenty three, and she's a, she's a smoke show. She's in she's very attractive. All right, mm -hmm. I I want to go to phones on this. Do you have any thoughts on ridiculous age gaps between men and women or women and men? Now, I'm guessing that the age gaps mostly are older men, younger women, but hey, we might get some calls on much older women and younger guys. I mean, that does exist. We know that. But what do you think? Is 50 and 23, is that creepy? Is that an odd age gap? And then why don't you call us up as well? You can answer that question. But also, what age gaps have you potentially been involved with? So do you have, in your relationship, do you have a crazy age gap? Or do you know of somebody, friend, coworker, anybody, with a crazy age gap? What is the difference between the age of the man and the woman? All right, 800 9901047. That's how you get in. All right. Fire up the phones. And if you have any other angle that we're not thinking of, you know, whether is it true love? Is there just absolute gold digging? Is it a sugar daddy situation? I mean, there are so many different possibilities, and I'm not even thinking of them all. All right. So, what are your thoughts, first of all, on Dane Cook at 50 and his 23 year old fiance, 27 year gap? So, if you have any thoughts on that, or any other age gaps that you want to point out. Oh, what was um, uh, Anna Nicole Smith? Oh, yeah, yeah that, was, and, that and, was a biggie. And Paul Paul. But he was like geriatric. Yeah. And she was like 20-something. Oh, yeah, and he was like 90. Yeah. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Oh, look at the phones. The phones have exploded here. Yeah, rocks. Okay, I want to tell you about my friend. All right, do your story. And then, folks, if you're on hold, hang on. We're going right to your calls in a second. If you want to get in, 800 990-1047, 800-990-1047. Phone's in a second. So my friends who who have this big 30-plus year age gap, they are one of the best couples I know. Now, she's kind of an old soul, and she doesn't look old. She looks like she's early, you know, 41, or younger than that, actually. And he looks Amazing. Like you would never guess that he's 73. Is he popping Viagra like Pez? I, I, he's got to be. He's got to be. know that much. I'm not that good of friends with him, but. He goes to the candy store, buys the Pez dispenser, and they're like, would you like candy? Nope. So put my Viagra right in. Hold. All my Pez are blue. <laughs> but listen, I have to explain something. Yeah, we are. I've, told, I've said this before. I feel like most young, like 20-something girls, uh -huh. when they look at guys who are even 30 or older, they view them as like that old man, that old guy. And something happens to you in your late 20s as you approach 30 where you kind of start to look like a woman, and then you won't see a guy who's 
45 or 50 as as just like an old man. So I the, what's odd to me about this Dane Cook story is that she's 23. Because when you're 23, you literally look at 30-plus-year-old guys like, ew, dirty old man, if they want to date you. I mean, there's also a couple of other extenuating circumstances. One... Well, he's celebrity. So yes, celebrity. and so, that makes a difference. That, 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 I think that's a big difference. And it's probably more likely to have a 23-year-old hottie dating a 50-year-old guy when it's a celebrity. And you know why that makes a big difference? Because that how when did Dane Cook become f- famous? Before she was born. Right? But what age was he? <laughs> in his early 20s? Or uh, 20s, probably? I, I would imagine. Yeah, comic, so, comic start in the late so, teens, early probably. 20s. Guess what? When yeah. you get that level of celebrityism that he got, he probably hasn't matured beyond a 20-something whenever he became famous. Because it's hard to hard hard to have emotional growth when you're when you're famous. Oh, what? It's wait a minute. It's hard. Uh, uh, yes, it it's is. It's hard to have emotional. Look at growth your, all you guys. I mean, yes. Look how when, famous we are. Yeah, I've been invited to the yeah. Lakeland Chili Contest. No, I'm super yeah. famous. I'm a radio morning show personality. I'm on the low end of the entertainment spectrum. I'm worse Don't than a, be high on the emotional yeah, development ra- spectrum. Radio it's DJ is worse than a game show host. The worst. All right. I wish I was a game. <laughs> All right, let's go to let's go to phones on this. Uh, let's start out in uh, New York City. Hey, uh, Chris is in New York City, listening online, streaming. Chris, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. Hi. Hi. So the age gap thing, it really depends. You know, in Dane Cook's situation, she was most definitely like 17 when they started sleeping together because there's no way on her 18th birthday all of a sudden like, okay, you know, that's not how that works. We all know that we're not stupid, and it's. It's creepy, and there's a power imbalance. There's a huge power imbalance because he's super famous, and she is just some young girl. And for my uh, minor in psychology— Hey, by the way, am I creepy for noting that she is really attractive and she's got a tight body? That's probably giving her a little power balance. Am am I sounding creepy when— No, I mean, we're talking about adults here. All right, I'm sorry, Chris. All right, Chris, go ahead. I'm sorry. But but, uh, based on my minor in uh, psychology in college— like a lot of women and some men, their uh, don't their brains don't mature until they're about twenty four, twenty five, and so she's not really like there yet, and they're so far apart. And he's been alive for twenty six years of her non existent life. Like it's it's weird. Yeah. Hey, by the way, thanks for listening to us in New York City. You're not listening to like Elvis Duran and the Z Morning Zoo. You're listening to us. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm always at work. I, I work in the TV industry, so you always have a my earbuds. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what do you do in TV, uh, Chris? Uh, I'm in uh, season two of Sex. Hold, hold on, right you 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 got all muffled. Say it again. I'm in season two of Sex of the City right now. Oh, really? What? Oh my gosh, yeah. that's awesome. So w- wait a minute. Yeah, we're actually shooting today. All right. So wait, wait a minute. This is uh, is this a this the is Sex a, in the City reboot? This right? is the, yeah. the reboot, right? Right. And where where does the reboot run? Because I saw all the originals on HBO back in the day. Uh, I think it's going to be on HBO Max, but they're shooting in uh, in uh, Long Island City in Queens. In, oh, wow. So uh, that's where you are right now? Are you uh, at, at the yeah. Silver Cup Studios? Is that where you are? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. I know, I know exactly. I, I got Michelle's engagement ring like three blocks from there. From yeah. uh, but, from from Maury the Diamond Guy. You know yeah. what's really but, yeah, crazy? Every morning. I'm, yeah. If you've been listening to our conversation this whole time, the couple that I told you about were my friend's 40. This is her favorite show, the show you're on. Oh, look at that. How about Whoa. And he's listening oh. to us. <laughs> he's in New He's in New York City. He's in Queens, Long yeah. Island City. By the that, By the way, Orange is the New Black. That was shot at the Silver Cup Studios right across the way there. It's right across the East actually, River. So So actually where my um where they're shooting Manifest here as well. Oh, wow. They're um in their artist shop is the soundstage where Jack Donaghy's office was for 30 Rock. Oh, really? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, buddy, thanks for listening to us and not... C-100. I appreciate it. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, thank Have you. Have a great day. <laughs> <So hilarious. laughs> yeah. well, I can do more. Hey, thanks for listening to us and not... Rock in America. C-100. Yeah, thanks for listening to us and not... Hot C-100. C-100. Yeah, thanks for listening to the MJ Morning Show and not the C Morning Show on C100. All right, back to the phones. Let's grab uh, Joyce is in Largo. Joyce, we're talking this age gap story here. Joyce, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi, 
Good morning. Hey, Joyce. What do you think? Dane Cook is 50 and his little tart is 23. Well, I uh, was married to my husband, uh, 24 year age gap, so it's not creepy. <laughs> oh, hold on a sec. So your husband was how old? Uh, my husband was, uh, well, he's 24 years older than me, uh, so he was 74. He passed away, but I was uh, 50, and he passed away. Okay, uh, so I'm so sorry for your loss, and um, I do also want to ask, if you don't mind, when did you guys start dating? How old were you? I was uh, 29. Yeah, see, that's, okay, what, see, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we need to get at. Not not the end game, but uh -huh. more of the beginning game. And so what you, is, yeah. you were 29 and he was like uh, 54 or something, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. You know, that's the age. I told you right about, I remember being 29 and people starting to tell me, Roxanne, you're looking like a woman. You lost those baby fat cheeks. You, oh. you know, that's kind of when you start to be oh, more like of a woman. You had little chipmunk had baby fat chipmunk cheeks. Chipmunk cheeks. And, uh, when, uh, when, yeah. did you, when did you get rid of your chipmunk <laughs> cheeks? <laughs> You start to thin out and look like a woman, and then you start to look at guys who are older, and you you don't feel like they're creepy older; they're just older, older. Uh, yeah, very inappropriate. Uh, hey, Joyce, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. All right, eight hundred. That opens up a line. Eight hundred nine nine zero one zero four seven. Eight hundred nine nine zero one zero four seven. Talking about the age gap. Dane Cook fifty. His uh, fiance twenty three. Anonymous is in Tampa. Hey, Anonymous, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hello. Hey, MJ, how you doing? We are well. Why do you want to remain anonymous, Anonymous? Yeah, just for personal reasons. All right. All right. So what's the story? What is your <laughs> thought on the age gap? Well, it, it's, it's pretty simple. I have seen both couples that have big age gaps and ones that don't have much of an age gap. At the end of the day, what matters is how much you connect to a person. But all in all... It is weird if the person is old enough that they could basically be your kid. All right, well, that's not that's fair because any, anybody that's like you know sixteen years older than somebody can basically be my kid. You know that makes exactly. sense. Exactly. However, oh. how can a fifty-year-old be dating a twenty-five-year-old when that basically could be their daughter? It's just kind of weird. It's all I'm saying. I've seen it happen, but it is a little weird. All right. And and I think that's true. Like like you say, when you see that, sometimes you see the age difference, and you say, "Wow, she looks significantly younger than him, young enough to be his daughter." So from the outside looking in, it does look, it, it may look strange to others. But if it feels right for them, you know, and they, As I'm saying, she doesn't have daddy issues. And <laughs> All right, so uh, now, how old are you? Uh, thirty. You're thirty. And what is the oldest guy that you've ever dated at whatever age you were? My husband. We're five years apart. Oh, all right. So, like, all right. Michelle and I, we're four years apart, four and a half years apart or so. All right, so you know, it's not bad. You know, listen, if you're 17, you're dating a 12-year-old, that's a problem. But, you know. Yeah, I mean, it yeah, evens itself know. out after, like, you know, <laughs> it does. 20. There's that place where it starts to even <laughs> out. Where, where it gets... All right, thanks. Anonymous, thank you. Let's grab Steve in Tampa. Steve, you're on the MJ Morning Show. The age gap. Where are you? I'm in Brandon. No, no, I mean, where, <laughs> I, where you are. All right, so, Steve, Steve, where are you on the age gap? Well, uh, my parents, there's a 25 year age gap between my parents. When they got married, my mother was 19 and my father was 45. Oh, holy moly. All right. So, and they are still married today. So, and how old are you, Steve? I am 44. So, my father is 93. My mother is 68. Aww, your so cute. dad is 93 and your mom is 68? Was it an arranged marriage? <laughs> no, oh <my> God. <laughs> no, they're from uh, very, they're from Alabama, so uh, definitely not an arranged marriage. <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, so it was an arranged marriage, <laughs> just not, just not I'm what totally, your tradition. I'm totally open to the age gap. Hey, Steve, <laughs> thanks for the call. Let's grab Red is in Tampa. Hey, Red, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. Welcome. Hey, MJ, thanks for having me. Do they call you Red because you have red hair? Yes. All right. Well, that was a very sultry, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, natural redhead. All right. So, uh, Red, what is your thought on the age? Hold on. What did you say? Roxanne's asking about the I'm, authenticity of her red hair. Which I'm the is, only one who could say this, guys. Which, uh, I'm, I'm, you, kidding. You I'm a, kidding. Are you doing a, a, a curtain matches the drapes deal I mean, or whatever? That, what, what is that expression? She's, okay. All right, she's the only yeah, one that can yeah, ask. Yeah. She's the only I, one that I, cares. Roxanne, really? That You, you bring that up? Right. 
Roxanne. Well, answer that in private. <laughs> Roxanne, Roxanne what, is, what is going on with you over there? You're a shock jock right, over here. Right, yeah. What are you, Roxanne Stern? No kidding. <laughs> Baba Booey? I'm just trying to have banter with the caller. Are you? <laughs> asking about curtains uh, and hey, upholstery? Hey, Red, hold Red, hold on one second. I just got to give out the cash box word, okay? Okay. All right, so this hour's word is pubic. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I'm, I'm joking. It's not. It is not. Do not text me. All right, so th- this hour's word is impact. That's real. This hour's word is impact. That's I-M-P-A-C-T. Text that nationwide to 45911 before 815, quarter after, for a shot at $1,000. Or you can enter it on the Q105 app or at myq105.com. All right, Red, how old are you? So I'm 51. Okay. And? And I've been married to my husband for 10 years, and my husband... And I'm 13 years apart. I am 13 years older than my husband. Oh, you are 13 years older than your husband. See, this is the reversal. Of course, it happens. I just think it's more common the other way. So your husband's what, 38? Yes, he just turned 38. Well, and then how did you guys meet? Uh, through a mutual friend of ours, uh, unexpectedly. Um, I, I usually have always been with men uh, much older than me. This is the first time I've ever encountered or experienced a relationship with someone that was younger than me. So this was uh, quite different for me. And how is it going? It's going great. I mean, uh, we, we get along pretty well. And how long have you been married? We've been married 10 years. Okay. And then you, you say it's it's going, I heard you say, well, it's going pretty well. Are there times where it, it doesn't go well? Oh, absolutely. You know, I say this all the time. Every day he pisses me off, <laughs> but every day he also makes me laugh. Oh, uh-huh. so every day he pisses you off and then he makes you laugh. So what, what is passion. The, before I move on, what is the last thing he did that pissed you off? Uh, he, oh gosh, well, I know, it's still early, he hasn't pissed me off yet, but I'm... I'm or, uh, yesterday, or, or recently? Uh, he, he was on his phone too much, and it was pissing me off, because he wasn't paying attention to me. Oh, and then he made you laugh. Of course, oh. yeah, then he showed me what he was watching, and I laughed. Oh, so, MJ, the funny part about yeah. this story is, Red, you were 41 when you married a 28-year-old. I mean, you're you're, yeah. you're you're ten years in now. Yeah. So at the time of the, yeah. how do you get along with his mother? How old is his mother? Um, well, his mother's really not much uh, younger than I am, and uh, we get along great. Um, fortunately, she doesn't live in the same state as me, so that might help out. Though. There you go. You don't see him much. <laughs> Keep the in-laws at a distance. I'll watch her hey, for you. Hi, Red. Mom. Thanks for the call. Liz is in Hudson. Liz, uh, on the age gap deal. Uh, what do you want to say? Uh, I met my husband when I was 21, and he was 34, and we just celebrated our 18th anniversary. Oh, oh. good for you. All right, and has he aged a lot, or is he you know, keeping in yeah, the... He looks, he looks younger than, than he is, and, uh, you know, it's it's been going good. I don't think... Age is just a number, especially like when a girl is 21 and you look at other 21-year-old guys, and their maturity level is just, you know, at a 16 year old level. Yeah, you're right. I mean, listen, it's a fact that girls mature quicker and are more mature typically at uh, the same age than a guy is. And then what brought this whole thing up, if you're just tuning in, folks, we're just talking about Dane Cook, the comedian and actor. Dane Cook is 50, and he's engaged to a 23-year-old, so... That's what started this whole thing. Liz, thanks for the call. Let's grab Amanda in St. Petersburg. Amanda, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? We are well, Amanda. Go ahead. I am 40 and my husband is 60. So I think age has no limit. You're 40? That's a 20-year gap. Not as big as the 27-year-old gap, but still. And no issues on the age gap? No issues at all. He looks younger than what uh, his age Excellent. I'm happy he was that in the you're military ha- for 22 years. Oh, he's in the military. Well, thank you for his service. We appreciate it. Amanda, thanks for the call. Let's grab Stephen in Gibsonton. Stephen, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. Age gap, what do you say? Yep. So, uh, eight years difference, uh, not too bad. But uh, my wife is older than myself. 
and uh, I met her when I was 19. She was so, 27. Whoa, you were 19, she was 27. How'd you meet? Uh, we met at the Dallas Bull line dancing. Oh, oh, yeah. oh really? Yes. Wow. And eight year gap. And how long have you been married now? Uh, 14 years in December. Good for you. I got to say, I don't think yeah. that's that dramatic. What? Eight, eight, years? eight years either way. No, that's, no. that's not like shocking. But that is not common. You know, it's more common for the guy to be eight years older than right. the woman. It's not common for the woman to be eight years uh, older than the guy. But I do know yeah. some women who are in those relationships with the younger guy and they're super happy i'm sure they are all right hey steve i can't really use the line uh, i'd like to i i would like to have met her sooner so uh, <laughs> no you can't yeah, you might have met her if you were, she was like your teacher or something yeah yeah, right. it, yeah right, if, right. If, and if, i technically just met her like a couple years after i graduated graduated high school yeah <laughs> if you would have met her sooner it might have been a big old yeah. case of sr all right thanks for the call steve appreciate thanks. it all right let, let me grab philip in tampa philip you're on the mj morning show hi Hey, good morning there, MJ. Hey, Philip, go ahead so, on the age gap situation. A little story. Uh, I had a friend in high school. little story about Jack and Diane? Uh, <laughs> but she just uh, <laughs> she started exotic dancing off of a uh, uh, strip club off of West Shore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, okay. hey, hang on. Let, let's start, start again, please. I, I, what, I, didn't, hold, I didn't see hold that on. coming. Hold on. What, what, Philip, what did you just say? Start again, please. <laughs> Well, we had just graduated out of high school, and this friend, she decided to start exotic dancing at a strip club off of West Shore. And I guess it ended up being, I don't know if it's the owner, he owned a couple of the strip clubs, uh, but I don't know if he owned that specific one that she was uh, dancing at. And they end up, he ended up marrying her. Uh he was around. All right, so wait a minute. Your friend got a job at a strip club right out of high school, so that would be like 18 or 19 years old. 18, 19, yep. Okay, exactly. and then what What high school was it? Uh, it was Robinson down in yeah. Uh, yeah. South Tampa. Down in uh, South Tampa, yeah, Robinson High School. All right, so sh sh how long ago was this? How long did she start dancing right out of high school? I, I wouldn't go into saying that because then – uh, if they're listening, they will figure out who is spilling this information right now. So, yeah, uh, Philip. I won't say how long ago was it. Now, all right. Well, yeah, and your your name obviously has so, nothing to do with it. All right, so, Philip, uh, after they get married, does I, but, she still dance? Well, hold on. She's eighteen or nineteen, and how old was the guy? He was around sixty-two, sixty-three. Oh, oh my, my god! Man. All right, now that's yeah. that's starting to knock on like what? On like. 40 years. That's grandfather country that, that, right that's there. The, that's knocking on a 40-year age. Now, are they still married? Yeah, the last I checked, they got... Or is he dead? Is he like... <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Hold on, you were just about to say, the last you checked, what? They, they got married. And they've been married now for a good X amount of years, and uh, they just moved out of state. They just moved out of state? They, yeah, they moved out of state about a good five years ago. Oh my God! So, how old is she now? Well, uh, I I can't I, I won't say her age either because that would add Jeez. up. To I, I thought I'd Phillip. trick him. I thought I was going to trick him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I I felt right, thanks for the call, man. Forty years. So the the strip club owner going after the eighteen year old dancer. And they're what, still married? I don't know who I'm happier wow. for in that scenario. All right, let me just grab a couple more calls here. And, man, phones exploded. Andrea's in Winter Haven. Andrea, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. We're talking about crazy age gaps between men and women. Go ahead. Hey, good morning. Um, I just had a comment. It's a different spin on what you're talking about. Yeah. But um, people, if they see a couple like that, they might assume things. And I'm going to tell you a story about when I was like 16 years old, I had accompanied my grandmother and grandfather to an appointment that he had. Well, my grandmother got my grandfather out of the car and she was like, well, I'm going to go park my vehicle. You just wait here, go on inside and everything. Well, when I went inside, like the nurses kind of saw us and they were kind of giggling around. And when my grandma came in, the nurses were like, oh my God, we thought she was his wife. And huh. my grandma was like, no, I'm his wife. It was so embarrassing for me as a 16-year-old that oh, wow. they thought that that was my husband. Oh, my God. Were you like a mature-looking 16-year-old, though? 
I mean, I think I look like an average 16 year old, but they just assumed that that was my husband. And I was like, no, that's my grandfather. Oh, my God. <laughs> the hell are they seeing over this place? Uh, All right. I don't know, but people might assume things. <laughs> All right, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Yeah, Andrew, uh, I- I'm gonna just going to finish up these calls, and we got to move on. Alan, Spring Hill. Alan, MJ Morning Show, you're on. Hi. Yeah. Uh, Alan, your door is ajar. You what? All right. All right, go ahead, Alan. Yeah, uh, I just called in. My, my wife is uh, is actually... 18 years older than me. Your wife is Ooh. 18 years older. What, what What? was that like? Oh, it's been a wonderful life. Uh, we've been married for 34 years. Oh, congratulations. So how old were each of you when you got married? Well, I was 32, so do the math. <laughs> yeah, she was 50. <laughs> wow, yeah. incredible. Alan, thanks for the call. Bruce is next. Bruce, you're on the MJ Morning Hang on a sec. I picked up a line that was ringing. Bruce on three. Bruce, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, morning, MJ. Awesome show, dude. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Appreciate you listening. It, it all started when my daughter was 16. Uh, she started introducing me to boys that were like 18 to 23, and I'm, I, I, I freaked out on her. Well, now she turned 18. I couldn't do nothing about it. Uh, but she's now 25, and the highest she's dated has been 24 years older than her. Oh, my God. And as a dad, I would freak out. I would not be comfortable if my daughter, Chloe, who is 21, started dating a guy that was like 45 or 46 and only a little younger than me. That would freak me the freak out. I, dude, I, you you wouldn't be, you wouldn't. Call me when it happens to you. I'll let you know uh, the true facts. <laughs> oh. All right. We'll save your number, Bruce. All right, man. You have a good day, and uh, thank you for what you guys do. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for listening. Hey, MJ, what, yeah. if, what if Chloe met, like, a knight or a baron, like a, you know, just <laughs> some fancy person over there and in Scotland yeah. and came home and introduced you to him and no, he's, I, he's your age. You, I, you, but but a great guy, like just like a super great guy. A baron. <laughs> uh, let me grab two more. Angela in Plant City. Angela, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi. So I have kind of two stories. One, my dad is 91 and... Hold his, on. Your dad is 91 and? And his wife is 55. Holy! Yeah. He's younger than my oldest sister. Okay, I'm trying and to listen to the tone in your voice. Do you like your stepmom? She's very nice. My dad has always dated or been with younger women. Um, obviously, this is like the biggest stretch, but she's very nice, and I respect anybody who is willing to put up with my dad. But also, one of my good friends, his brother was married to someone who was 25 years older, his brother unfortunately passed away, and then he kind of took his brother's place, and his ex-sister-in-law, now kind of girlfriend, is like 80, and he's 50. Oh, is she loaded? Is she? Does she have a lot of money? She does have a lot of money. Well, his bingo, family. there you go. Well, <laughs> yeah, but he also does very well for himself, so All it's right. kind of weird. It's very weird. Yeah, 50 and yeah. 80, that's, uh, you know, 80-year-old woman, 50-year-old, I'm sorry, that's... That's a little interesting story it's there. It's, it's gross. Uh, did you say it's gross? It's very gross. Yeah, she yeah. looks like the crypt keeper. <laughs> he looks like the crypt keeper? It's your dad. She does. She does. Oh, I'm sorry. She looks like the crypt keeper. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right, Angela, thanks. All right, final call on this. Charlie, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hey, Charlie. How are you doing this morning? I listen to you up in Tupelo, Mississippi when I'm there, and I'm in Lakeland part-time. Hi, man. Um, Thanks. I had uh, an age-appropriate marriage. Uh, She was six years younger than me. Uh, I got divorced at 55 and retired and had a couple businesses up around Tupelo, Mississippi. And I kind of agree with what Roxanne says. It kind of gets to the point where after about 25 or 30, the age difference is not quite as bad as it is when you're you're, uh, you in their teens and things like that. But the problem is when you listen to music or or you talk about current events that you, you were alive when uh, they didn't even know about and things like that. That's where it starts getting to be a problem. You know and that, I think, yeah, that's a great point you brought up. And I think the other thing, too, is they, uh, uh, the, the, the the two ladies that I dated that were 30 years younger than me, and my wife now is uh, 22 years younger than me, 
Um, they, none of them have fathers in the home, so I think what they do is they look for. Oh, a it's the whole daddy or, thing. What is that? Security. The uh, what is that? That's called the the Electra complex, isn't it? You have the Oedipus. You have the Oedipus complex for uh, right for uh, guys on women. Yes, that's Oedipus. Oedipus is mommy, mommy, and then, son issues. Then Electra is daughter, daddy. Right? I didn't know the. I, I never heard yeah. of Electra. That's Electra complex. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, I just heard daddy issues. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say the same thing, Charlie. That's daddy issues. Happens, <laughs> I think they, they're looking for resources that they haven't had because they didn't have a father at home. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's really, it's really or, tough. Or and, they uh, want to replace know, their the, father. The yeah. cultural gap. Yeah, Charlie, thanks for the yeah. call. Good stuff, man. Appreciate and look at Fester. Fester has been, this whole time, Fester is creeping through Dane Cook's 23-year-old fiance's Facebook page and creeping on all of the pictures in her in bikinis and tight jeans. I, Dude, there's you're, no, there's no you, are, here. you are lurking there's for the no... last 20 minutes. You're going through years of her Facebook page, okay. and you're oogling and, and, and looking at her pictures. Okay, first of all, it's not years. I'm only back to March of 2019. <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> well, that would be years. <laughs> It's not like decades. This and whole time, Fester's scrolling through Dane Kicks, uh, Dane Cook's twenty-three-year-old fiance's Facebook. This is all stuff she publicly posted. It's not, nothing's too crazy. I have you're, some like a, you're like a creepy old. Yeah, what do you have? Yes, yeah, that Dane actually. This is a pattern of his, and he was always trying to bring young, young girls around his shows and stuff. Oh, from, really? From the insider. But listen, that last mm-hmm. caller made such a great point because I think of some of my younger girlfriends, and and their older husbands, and when we play music from the husband's era. And the girls have to listen to it. I'm like, no way do you even like this music. You you have to hate this music. It must sound like old, you know, old person music. To and you. now the sounds <laughs> of Benny Goodman from the Shenandoah Room. Yes. <laughs> and the phone number at the hotel is Transylvania six five thousand. The girl, the girlfriends want to listen to oldies, and they hear it's like uh, too legit to quit. Listen, one more thing. <laughs> to right, one end more this. thing. Okay. Okay. Yes. One more. MJ, yes. what if Chloe came home yes. and instead of, Dad, I want you to meet John Bon Jovi's son, it was, Dad, I'm dating John Bon Jovi. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, no. 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 And the, the reference there is is that <laughs> Chloe is friends with uh, Jake Bon Jovi, uh, John's son. <laughs> 